Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. This is lesson 3.3. In this video, we are going to use angle relationships to show that two lines are parallel. If we're looking at these two lines, J and K, and we want to show that they're parallel to each other, we need to be able to show one of four things. The first thing that we could show is that corresponding angles are congruent. That'll make these two lines parallel. Also, if we can show that the alternate interior angles are congruent, that'll also tell us that our two lines are parallel. Along with alternate interior angles, we could also show that the alternate exterior angles are congruent. The last thing we could show is that our consecutive interior angles are supplementary. As long as we have one of these four things being true, then that's going to make our two lines parallel to each other. In this example, I've got four different pictures drawn out, and what we want to decide is if there's enough information given to us to tell us that our two lines are parallel. So if we take a look at number one, we've got a couple of arcs, which means that those two angles are congruent. If we were to classify these things, these would be alternate interior angles. So having alternate interior angles means, yes, these two lines are parallel because those two alternate interior angles are congruent. If we take a look at number two, we've got arcs saying that these two angles are congruent. If we were to classify those things, those would be corresponding angles. So this one is also going to be, yes, those two lines are parallel because we have corresponding angles being congruent. For number three, we've got these two angles being congruent. These would be considered consecutive interior angles. Now, we don't want consecutive interior angles to be congruent. We want those things to be supplementary. So this one, I would say, no, we don't have enough information there. Our last one, number four, we've got these two angles being congruent. These are alternate exterior angles. So I would say, yes, these two lines are parallel because we have alternate exterior angles that are congruent. In this example, we want to find the value of x that makes line m parallel to line n. So we're given a couple of angles to look at, and I would classify these angles as corresponding angles. In order for m to be parallel to n, we need these two angles to be the exact same size. So I'm going to take this information that we're given and set up an equation. Since we need these things to be the same size, we're going to set them equal to each other. So 3x plus 5 equals 65, and then we're going to start solving. So I'm going to subtract the 5 from each side. When we do that, we get 3x equals 60. Then we need to get rid of the 3 in front of the x, so we're going to do some division. And we end up with an x value of 20. Our last example is similar to the problem we just finished with. We want to find the x value that makes line m parallel to line n. These two angles we're given this time are consecutive interior angles, so we want those things to be supplementary or add up to 180 degrees. So we get 3x minus 15 plus 150 equals 180. Now what I would do is I would combine these like terms. So negative 15 and 150 gives us 135. Then I would subtract that 135 over to the right hand side of the equation. So we get 3x equals 45. Then for the last step, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So we get x equals 15. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.